Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, GCFR, had all at his beck and call as he celebrates his 79th birthday anniversary. The reason is not far-fetched. His high status as an elder statesman of note, having straddled the saddle of leadership at home and beyond the shores of Nigeria, demands he gets nothing less than amazing treat at the celebration of his new age milestone. Celebrating his 79th birthday, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, GCFR, in his unique style and considering the state of the nation, ensured he lent his voice to the most sought-after panacea to one of the lingering national problems. Very notable of them all is the intractable security issues which has kept the nation on its knees for some years now. A worthy steward of his standing presupposes he keeps an eye on national concerns, even in a supervisory capacity, and this he did most commendably in a forum of this magnitude. A major part of the 79th birthday celebration of Chief Olusegun Obasanjo was a lecture availing a cross-section of Nigerians of all age groups the privilege of showcasing their presence. The lecture was titled Human Security violent extremism and radicalization seeking sustainable solution professor akin mabugunje nnom cfr the chairman of the occasion and chairman board of the center for human security mounted the podium to deliver his welcome remarks the board of trustees of the olusha of basojo presidential library and of the Center for Human Security, I join your many admirers in wishing you many happy returns of today. He spoke on the Presidential Library, which harbors a museum where all gifts received by the former president were kept. Another section of the library is the archives, the custody of old papers, memoranda, and such documents passed on to the celebrant through the office of the secretary to the government acknowledging the fact of a continuum in government such as held by former president professor mabugunje submitted that the celebrant still occupies a prominent role where he stands to contribute his quarter as and when due i want to say a few things about the presidential library to explain how it's different from a university library. A presidential library has in effect three parts to it. The big part that people see is the museum. And the museum is where is kept all the presents and gifts that the president collected during the period of his presidency. Professor Mabugunja said the celebration of life of Chief Olusegun Obasanjo was in three parts, namely a short capsule of the international colloquium held earlier and its communique. The second and third parts were the launching of the endowment fund and celebration of the 79th birthday anniversary of the celebrant. Professor Peter Okemukola took turn to deliver his remarks. In it, he affirmed the fact that violent extremism has ravaged some countries on the continent of Africa and the world at large. It was on record that according to the 2015 Global Terrorism Index, lives lost reached 32,658 in 2014 compared with 18,111 in 2013. This is about 80% increase. The deadly onslaught was found to have been inflicted by ISIS and Boko Haram majorly. Juxtaposing the two 6,644 deaths caused by the latter while 6,073 by the former and Nigeria, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq, and Pakistan have a chunk of all deaths. Unfortunately, Nigeria recorded the largest increase of all of these nations by about 300% to 7,251 deaths. 
in West Africa, Burkina Faso, Mali, and Nigeria are among the countries that are frequently subjected to insecurity by radicalized groups. In North Africa, virtually all countries in the sub-region, including Egypt, Libya, and Tunisia, have to grapple with violent extremists. Elsewhere around the world, many Middle Eastern countries, notably Iran, Syria, Iraq, Turkey, and Yemen, Australia, Canada, France, Indonesia, Spain, and the U.S. have reported activities of violent extremists which have brought insecurity to the land. And to do justice to the topic at hand, where Dr. Rawlings and Vice Chancellor of University of Maiduguri, Professor Ibrahim Judy, Dr. Rawlings is currently serving at the American University of Nigeria. He has a long standing experience in Iraq, Sudan, Europe, Central America, Afghanistan, Asia, and a host of others in the capacity of counter terrorism and other humanitarian capacities. And they have attributes like empathy, yes, of course, to empathize. And they have compassion and idealism. And they do want to help people rather than hurt them. Others will tell you, and it is a proven fact, that suicide bombers are not usually drawn from the ranks of the mentally ill. Suicide bombers are not crazy. Political and religious groups around the world are different. They all are not the same. They have different reasons, different beliefs, different ideologies. For example, the Palestinian fighters do not necessarily share the beliefs and goals of ISIS or Boko Haram. However, they are a set of psychological mindsets. The Vice Chancellor of the University of Maiduguri, Professor Ibrahim Jodi, took an appraisal of the situation in the war-torn northeastern state of Maiduguri. The university Don, who had earlier received threats on account of the safety of students on campus, however, thanked the staff and management and students for their cooperation all these while. Professor Ibrahim Judy reeled out efforts aimed at making life worth living after the security challenges subsided. He was happy to inform that the security situation in Maiduguri has improved tremendously. The security agencies have been very cooperative and supportive of the university. They organized a tight security network within and around the university campus, which made it possible for us to continue with normal academic activities. I wish to place on record our gratitude to the security agencies for their outstanding commitment and support. Professor Mabungude came on stage once again to give the vote of thanks. He also, in the same breath, took note of the adverse effects of the latest technology, like the use of smartphones, which could either make or mar the future of young fellows who are always within the reach of this technology. A case study on Burkina Faso, delivered in French but interpreted in English, attempted at curbing violent extremism and others, was presented. Some revelations as regards the factors which attract people to enlist with violent extremist groups were brought to the open. According to a study previously carried out, it showed that in the Sahel region of Africa, for instance, poor governance, poverty, insecurity, external factors, among others, give rise to violent extremism. Burkina Faso, with its relative geographic position with other African nations, cannot in any way spare themselves from the onslaught of terrorist groups whose attack left on its trail a considerable number of casualty. Professor Peter Okebukola, OFR, oversaw the session of presentation of awards to participants. More shots were taken at security on the whole. The time came for contributions from students from select universities and learned individuals as well, who were also members of the gathering. Few of them dug deep into various dimensions of the issue of security under review. Awards were given to Professor Ibrahim Judy, Monsieur Michel Seva, Dr. Lionel Rawlings, Dr. O.A. Suraj, among others, for their lead speech presentations at the National Summit and Fourth Colloquium on Human Security, Violent Extremism, and Radicalization. Distinguished professors in the audience from notable Nigerian academic institutions 
helped to prefer solutions to radicalism in the society. And after the session of contributions, Professor Akim Abugunje and Professor Peter Okebukola were each given the books labeled The Experience. In the words of the celebrant, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo thanked everyone who has done their worthy bits in the lecture. He expressed his satisfaction, but his reservations lied in the fact that for occasions of injustices, inequality, exclusion, marginalization, impunity, and others, they still have their ugly overtures. He said, can there be the best solution? Chief Olusegun Obasanjo then went on to state the interplay of relationship and love in all sectors of life. I want to particularly appreciate all of you who have given key note speeches the Vice Chancellor of Madaguri University, Michel, from Burkina Faso, the Vice Chancellor. One of the key components of the 79th birthday anniversary celebration of former President Olusegun Obasanjo was the launch of the Endowment Fund for the Center for Human Security, which is a key part of the Olusegun Obasanjo Presidential Library, whose core area of focus is to generate ideas for discussion to seek solutions to national and international issues of concern. It will be recalled that the theme of the fourth international colloquium held as part of the OBJ at 79 activities is human security, violent extremism, and radicalization, seeking sustainable solutions, which featured a cross-section of speakers from the academia from both Nigeria and beyond. Professor Peter Okebukola, OFR, former Executive Secretary of the National Universities Commission, NUC, who is the Director of the Center for Human Security, expatiated further on the essence of the launch of the Endowment Fund for the Center for Human Security. The Chief Launcher and Co-Launcher were former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and Sir Kessenting Adebutu, CON. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar was represented by Mr. Akin Kekiriakun, former chairman Habib Bank, and former pro chancellor and chairman of Council of Lagos State University. Baba is a very, very serious person, but for most who know him, he's also humorous. Um, Center for Human Security, when you look at the poverty, illiteracy, terrorism in the country and the various challenges we have, we realize that what is being done by Baba is very, very important. But serious as he may sound, he has a very humorous side. Sir Kazanding Adebutu said he is always pleased to associate with anything to do with a celebrant because he has very high regards for him. They both donated generously to the course. Normally I'm not supposed to be here by me today. By now my father-in-law and my mother-in-law, who happens to be the daughter of the celebrant, my mother-in-law is a Nikoka of Abekuta, the big top band at Agogoye now as the Baba Dini and the Yadini. But since I was speaking, the celebrant is so dear to me. And uh, I don't even mind to risk uh, it. I was sued for what I'm doing now because of the love I have for the celebrant. And this simply because he's a gentleman, he's very supportive. When he likes you, just go and sleep. Others who contributed to the launch of the Endowment Fund for the Center for Human Security included Chief Kola Jaomodu, who was a minister under President Obasanjo, and Professor Akimwe Adishino, President of the African Development Bank, 
who was represented by his wife and some retired army officers, former governor of Cross River State, Mr. Leal Imoke, Governor Ibukule Amosu of Ogun State. I thought I could sneak in and um, just be part of this event, uh, com coming to pay my due respects uh, to my boss and uh, to my mentor and of course to one of the greatest um, sons that Nigeria and Africa ever produced. Um, I, I don't consider myself to be a guest here. Um, I'm part of this family and it is um, an honor and a pleasure to be called upon um, to wish Baba a happy 79th birthday. Um, for me, I think um, it is not just a privilege to have someone like him as a mentor and as a father, but also because of the closeness of the relationship I've shared and the experiences that I've had. I, I think that um, outside of my own father, I must say Baba Obasanjo has affected me the most in my entire my entire life. Human security is so key. Indeed, I've listened to all of those that have uh, presented papers, case studies, and all of us agree that it's so important that human security is very key if we are to avoid the kind of things that is happening worldwide, not just Nigeria alone. So we will support, I will personally support, and I think our state will support as well. There were series of entertainment which served as the much needed interlude before the final lap of the 79th birthday anniversary celebration of former President Lucia Gwama Basanjo. This featured in the main tributes by Nigerians from different sectors of the country in whose lives the celebrant has made a lot of impact as publicly stated in their testimonies. They include former Governor of Akwaibom State, Senator Godswill Akabio, former Governor of River State, now Minister of Transportation, Honorable Rotimi Amechi, FEX Executive Governor of Abia State, and now Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Bunaya Onu, and the Oluwu of Ou Kingdom, His Royal Highness Obadegwega Dosumu. Senate President Bukola Saraki's remarks were presented by Senator Larry Tejwosho. Baba is one person that if you were a fisherman, if I followed him to the sea, if he goes right, I will go right, knowing that that day all the fishes will go to the right. If he goes to the left, I will follow him to the left, and I will have a big cash. I don't remember when he made a wrong prediction. But one thing that you may not know about him is that in my state, he is an icon that will go down in the annals of history as a man of justice. I struggle to be here today to bring felicitations from Akwaibom State and its people, and also from my governor, to congratulate the man at 79. We will also be here with my entire entourage when you are 80 years. Mr. President, I think Nigerians agree that you are not a Yoruba man. That Nigerians agree. Yoruba say it, Igbo say it, Hausa say it, and I'm happy because if you meet Yoruba, he'll say, hmm, he's not a Yoruba man, don't mind him. And that makes you one of our best, one of the best things God has given to us. Nigerians agree that you love Nigeria. I have never seen any Nigerian that has disagreed that you, you don't love Nigeria. They believe that at all times you want to save Nigeria. And, and, that, is where, and that is where the disagreement starts. Because, as, because you want to save Nigeria, there are areas you may take a decision and they won't support that decision. Some will support, some will not support. But basically, all Nigerians agree that you have that mesonic tendency. President Obasanjo is a special gift 
that God gave to our country, Nigeria. At, <clears throat> at every time that the nation finds herself facing very special challenges, God has used President Obasanjo to help us to get out of that problem. We thank you, Mr. President, for the enormous work you have done for our country. One morning, I sat in my house and joined my wife. <laughs> and Olusegun Obasanjo came in and said, let's go to Abelkuta. I said, for what? They said, we have a matter to settle. So whether you like it or not, just get dressed. And I got dressed. You know, when he says just get, get dressed, you know, he speaks like a, a soldier to his best friend. So I got dressed. We drove all the way to Abelkuta. All along he was saying, what is the cause of the problem? And I said, well, I don't know. It's been so long and nobody can tell the cause of the, the problem. Okay, when we get there, we find out. And lo and behold, when they have welcomed him, and he said, well, let me tell you, I have been sent here. Don't look at me as an old woman. Are you listening to me? I am an old woman, but that's not the purpose of my coming here today. If we don't settle this, and they send me back to come and shoot everybody down, I will not hesitate. And I touched him, I said, ah, don't, don't, don't speak to her people like that. I said, don't worry, what are you talking about? And I recognized, as he told me later, that's the best way to first calm them down. <laughs> they can be handled, uh, strictly handled. So they cooled down. And by the time we have spent about six hours, uh, everybody, everybody became friends. And uh, we settled as uh, usual. On behalf of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and my family, I especially send this message of goodwill to congratulate Your Excellency on the auspicious occasion of your 79th birthday celebration. Baba, it is remarkable that your strength, wisdom, and intellect has not waned, but rather has become enriched and continue to blossom with each passing year. We join Your Excellency, family, and well-wishers to celebrate and thank Almighty God for your life and your numerous great achievements in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. May God continue to bless you with long life and strengthen you always. Once again, congratulations and have a happy birthday, sir. Governor Ibukule Amoso of Ogun State's remarks ended the session. Baba is uh, so many things to so many people. Yes, so many love him, others do not like him. People will criticize, people will abuse him, some will. And that is Baba for you. But in all of those, one thing that everybody, whether those that even loathe him, whether those that say, oh, what he's doing is not right, everybody agree on one thing. And that is the fact that Baba is a nationalist. The high point of the 79th birthday anniversary of Chief Olusegun Obasanjo was the cutting of the birthday cake. The celebrant, accompanied by the former governor of Oshun State, Prince Olagunsoye Oyinlola, and wife, Senator Grace Bent, Otumba Adigunle Ojora, and others, danced to the cake point, where the cake was cut in an atmosphere of great joy and celebration. <laughs> In the response of the celebrant, former President Olusegun Obasanjo thanked all those who honored him with their time and resources, which made the event that lasted two days a huge success that it has been. He thanked all those who contributed to the launch of the Endowment Fund, the Center for Human Security.
Former President Tulusha Obasanjo hopes to see everyone at the celebration of his 80th birthday anniversary next year. But I want to thank all of you here, because without you here, there will be no celebration. And with you here, it is a big celebration. I thank all of you. I want to thank once again those who are responsible for organizing that wonderful, wonderful colloquium that we had yesterday. The closing prayers by Bishop David Oyedepo of the Winners Chapel formally ended the 79th birthday anniversary celebrations of former President Urushegun Obasanjo from Biscon Communications. It's 79 happy cheers to Chief Ulushegun Obasanjo, GCFR, Nigeria's most pan-Nigerian leader.